my usual morning walk uh, down to the river this morning to take my stroll along the Neelan. I was kind of struck on the way down to the riverside um, because I saw this big cloud of fog that was sitting right behind uh, the James White Bridge, which you see in front of you there. I thought, wow, that'd be cool. So I stayed there for a few minutes, hoping that I could film the, the fog as it rolled across the bridge, past the bridge, and down the Tennessee River. But it never did that. It just sat there the entire time and never moved past the bridge and down the river. So finally I walked down to the riverside and walked along the, uh, the greenway there, thinking that in time it would, in its own time, make its way down the river. But it never did. It just kind of disappeared. There were, there were traces of this huge fog cloud that I had seen, but nothing like this huge thing, you know, uh, behind the, the James White Bridge. I knew morning would dissipate. With the rising sun, the, the, the fog would dissipate, of course. I filmed this on my return home. Um, the fog never made it down to Tennessee. And when I got to the rise here on Hill Avenue... Uh, it was still there, that huge cloud. Interestingly enough, though, it had started to dissipate into the hills of Island Home. And into the hills back there which led me to believe I was wondering if, if maybe wind direction might have an effect on this huge fog cloud that I saw. It kind of stopped at the border of the James White Bridge. When I got back to the hill, the fog cloud was beginning to dissipate because the rising sun was up and burning through it. But it was dissipating over the hills. It seemed as if the fog cloud was moving into the hills and not down the river as I had expected. There was no wind either up where I was standing at that time, nor was there any wind down along the Tennessee River there. So I'm not sure, you know, why this fog cloud, how this fog cloud is being pushed early in the morning. It moved eventually. You could see it dissipating into the hills. But why into the hills instead of down the river with the water? Ah, uh, the glory of nature.